The next process is selecting the correct reamer. We want to bring this thing back to manufacturer's major diameter of 312 thousandths of an inch. So now we've cut already over 317, corrected the bow mouthing in the guide, and now we have to bring it back to 312 with this knurling arbor. If you notice the knurling arbor here, has some high and low areas. Basically what's happening is we're cutting with interference to distort the material so it creates less surface area inside the valve guide. So when you put this in, it should sit directly in there and it should not go through any further. There's a pilot on the end that sits into the 317 hole. Then what I want to introduce is the two and a half to one reduction motor or apparatus that allows the drill to run at maximum torque and speed and then reduce the amount here so we can actually cut through the material that we've started to correct in the head. Prior to starting the cutting process it's important to make sure we use the appropriate amount of cutting oil so it's easier on the tool and easier on the head when we're cutting the guide. Taking a look at the end of this reamer here, or actually knurling bit, it has a drive dog on the end that meets the drive dog on the end of the reduction motor. So once we start the process, the process has to be continued all the way through until we've knurled the guide completely and the tool comes out the other side of the head. Now, once you've gone all the way through, as you've seen with the drill motor, it drops off fairly quickly. What we want to do now is lift up the head and remove the knurling tool. And as you can see, there's been a lot of material removed again. Okay, the next process, once we've gone ahead and we've done our knurling, is to go back inside with a hard core brush so that we can remove any debris that we've created from the machining process. Give it a little twist, clean it out. Now we'll use shop air to remove any of the other debris. And then what we need to do from there is check the actual fit of the valve. The valve does not fit. The reason the valve does not fit is because we've oversized the dimension originally. We've corrected it by distorting the surface area, creating an interference cut with the knurling tool, creating a smaller hole than we originally started with. And that's why the valve does not fit directly into it. So what we need to do now is we need to select the manufacturer's re minimum re or maximum requirement of clearance for the valve at 312. So we install a 312 reamer and it shouldn't go through the hole either. It's piloted and tapered so that it fits into the hole up to these relief areas to guide it. Use the appropriate lubrication and lots of it. And then once again using a hand arbor to cut any high points and you can see it goes through with a lot of ease and we're through. So again cutting in the same direction continuing right out and removing it from the head once again. Now next procedure would be to go back in and re-clean the hole to remove any debris Okay, after the process is complete and it's been cleaned out, we should be able to take our valve, put it in, and drop it directly back into a new surface area between the valve stem and the guide. The next thing to do would be to slightly take it off of its seat and feel how much clearance is there. Very, very minimal clearance. Manufacturer specification indicates we should have one to three thou as a maximum clearance, and we'll go through the procedure of measuring again to find the appropriate clearance in this particular valve. 
Okay, through measurement, we've measured and established that our dimension on the valve is 310 and a half thou. So 0 0.3105 inches. Now, once we go back in here again, we need to select the position, get the average reading, take the reading, take the small hole gauge out, read it, recheck it again in the next position, recheck it again in the next position, all three positions have been checked, and then an average reading is calculated. The average reading that's been calculated here is 312 and a half. Manufacturer specification rules that we should have one to three thou stem to guide clearance for oil control. <clears throat> Our valve measured at 310 and a half. Our new knurled guide has measured at 312 and a half, leaving us with a calculated dimension of two thou clearance between the stem and the guide. Manufacturer specification is one to three. We're right in the middle of the road. We've provided longevity as well as a new service procedure to put this back into service.